Today is August 13th, um, 2015. Instead of instead of posting a bunch of pictures, um, I, I figured I'd, I'd try to do a video. Um, it is with great reluctance that I'm thinking about selling my Nan Spider 2.5. I'm going to take a short video and, and sh you know show you what I have for sale. So this is a fuselage. Um, NAN 2.5. This thing, it is in flawless condition. Um, RFM spinner. Carbon 17 by 13 RF props. Uh, the multi connector pins for the wing connections, they, they are glued in. Um, standard on off switch cooling hole this hatch right here is the elevator and um, rudder servos this little piece of tape around here is actually monocoat peel and stick um, if you need to get in the hatch it's not glued on just peel the monocoat peel and stick off and it allows you easy access um, the tail I usually don't take the horizontals off but they will slide off they're just a friction fit um, absolutely no play in any surface whatsoever this little hatch is actually for the receiver I just placed a had a um it's a triple a 1100 milliamp nickel metal pack actually the pack is it's the way the pack was built is one 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 so it's a really long pack it actually sits back in here i have some foam um just to keep it from moving around i've got some foam packed in here um, this is the other wing plug the bottom of the fuse is and it doesn't have a scratch on this plane anywhere if you look really close you'll see this piece of self-adhesive clear mylar it's actually used for a lot of on-road pan cars rc cars um, it just keeps the bottom free from any scratches um, what else can i show you the canopy comes off just like that um, internal this is a jetty 165 light um, the motor is a Hacker B59S with the 6.7 to 1 gearbox. Along the sides is, this is actually from the on-off switch. This is a wire coming up here. So to charge the um, nickel metal pack, this is a little charge jack that I have just keep right here. And on the other side... If you can see it, this is just the ESC wire that goes back to the receiver. I just have it taped here so it doesn't get in the way. Um, this little mark here is just a piece of black electrical tape. It coincides with this mark on the battery. Um, this is a Thunder Power 70C 5-cell 3300 milliamp. It is a tight fit. It's about the biggest battery I could fit in here. Um, you almost have to shoehorn it in there. And when those marks line up, that just means that the center of gravity is exactly where it's supposed to be. And then your wires hook up here. Um, let me grab a wing. 